so we're still currently in lockdown in the UK. Well, it's not lockdown, just um, social distancing and very, very few people are allowed into work. Um, however, Honeybee Stamps had a release recently um, and I fell in love with almost everything in it. Uh, I didn't think that it would arrive anytime soon because I just don't know what the postal service is going to be like. However, it is... Wednesday the 6th of Mar May, um, can't tell the difference between March and May, deep joy, um, and my parcel arrived today and I was uh, massively struggling to try and concentrate at work once it arrived because there was no way that I was going to concentrate at work when I had all of these exciting goodies to open. Um, so I'm doing a very quick um, haul video. Um, I will probably be making a card with these this evening um, and dependent on how long that takes to edit it'll go up sometime soon on my youtube channel um so first of all ooh, look at this beautiful paper bag i love the pattern on that that's gorgeous um and uh honeybee send you a uh, like little thank you card it's cute adorable um so i purchased quite a few things um not all of them from this release uh, and I'll talk you through them um, so I got the freebie um, and matching coordinating die um, this stamp set is now retiring um, however I didn't have it and I just love that sentiment I think that is so cute um, and so I couldn't let it retire without buying it. So um, I bought this one that was retiring. Um, this is an absolutely lovely sentiment. Um, I've wanted to have this sentiment in my set for a while. So when Honey Bee came out with this one, I was just kind of like, ah, there we go. Um, so I will probably not be using that with these supplies, but um, I've got so many like galaxy bits and pieces and stars and moons and things that I will be able to use that um, with those bits and pieces. Um, again, I might, might make a card with that sometime soon, not sure. This. This is a, probably my, my favourite um, stamp and die set from this, um, from Honey Bee for a while. Um, it's got the little loo roll, I love the loo roll! <laughs> or a lie, I suspect that it's probably the loo roll that was the whole reason why I, I bought this card. Um, ah, card. Uh, stamp set and die set um so this is called hang in there um and it was on a pre-order uh for a while so um proceeds from the sales of this stamp set and another stamp set and the dies uh, go towards feeding feeding america so um whilst i'm not an american i do you know feel that you should donate to local charities wherever you can to take care of people who are particularly suffering during this um pandemic um, so you have little blah bunny. I don't have any of the other blah bunnies. Um, I think that they're retiring as well. So this will probably be my only blah bunny. Um, I think he's so cute. <laughs> um, here's a socially distant hug is probably the sentiment that I'm going to be using. Um, and wish I could see you, but you know, social distancing. Um, lots of my friends have said that they want to kind of pen pal. Uh, just so that they get stuff in the post, so I'll probably be be using that little hang in there bunny and matching dies for pen palling to my friends. Um, so the Zen bouquet, Zen floral, and oh my whiskers are all retiring. Um, so I have these stamps, but I didn't get the dies at the time. But because these were retiring, they'd been reduced in price. So I thought, well, you know, I may as well buy these. Uh, coordinating dies because especially for like the, the zen bouquet and the zen floral there are a lot of florals there um and uh hand cutting them would be really quite annoying um and i adore the oh my whiskers um stamp set so getting the the coordinating dies was a, a bit of a no-brainer for me i understand that some people have things like scanning cuts and stuff so they can uh, they can use those but i don't have one so it's either fussy cut or the dies I love goats! I adore goats! I love goats so much! Um, if you know anything about me then you know that I've uh, 
I've done some work with goats so I just I love them when they come up to you and like start eating you <laughs> and all sorts of things they just have the wackiest personalities so I just adore them so this stamp set was a no-brainer I had to get it the second I found out that it was in the release I was just like right take my money take it um so this is the way to goat set um I also have the coordinating dies um so you've got billy goat nanny goat uh, the naughty little baby goats um, playing around but they also have friends which is so cute so you have a duck little um, kind of Easter chick another Easter chick a little bunny and a piggy piggy is adorable um, and just I think all of these all of these stamps are just so cute um, it's definitely been drawn by the same person that um, did Silent Night because of all of the, the little dashed lines on the back so I may even be able to mix it up with the the deer and the the hair that are in that one as well so we'll we'll see what I get around to with this so that's the way to goat um, stamp set and coordinating dies I got super 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 excited about this one as well so this is the barn scene builder um, and it's all of these dies that you can use to make uh, kind of typical American barn and also a windmill as well but it's got hay bales and um, bits of uh, fencing and you can have the doors open or you can make it into a, a card if you want to um, so again because of the um, way to go to set I was just kind of like oh my god I, I need that one as well so um, that one found its way into my basket um, oops everything's falling over now um, and last but not least, these spring bouquets um, dies. So I've already got the um, the autumn bouquet and the winter bouquet. Um, so this one, kind of, I had to add it into my stash, especially as it's got the, the watering can. Um, but as far as I'm concerned, you can probably uh, mix and match all of the the florals and things. Um, I've probably got somewhere around up here. I dig hard enough there we go um, I've got some flowers left over from uh, the autumn bouquet set um, that I just didn't use on a previous card and they're cutting cat hair which is hardly surprising in art is molting like crazy um, so I suspect that you can probably mix and match the, all of the florals from all of the previous bouquet sets um, this tulip one has been uh, loads of people have been making tulips with the with the tulip one, and they look amazing. So I'm really looking forward to, to giving that a go um, and putting them coming out of the watering can. So um, so that's everything that I bought. Not everything was in the current release, um, and some bits and pieces are retiring. Um, but hopefully, um, I will bring these in a card to you sometime soon um take care of yourselves um if you haven't already subscribed to my channel um click the bell below um and click all to see all of the new notifications that you get uh from my channel whenever i upload a new video um i hope that you will come back again soon to see what i create with all of these bits and pieces um and see you soon. Bye.